I'm Mark. And I'm Morgan. And we are Grove Electric. Electric. And we, we are, are here in Las, Las Vegas. Vegas. And we're here with our mother-in-law. Hello. Miss Beth. <laughs> so we made it to Vegas. Stay tuned for all our epic travels while we are here in Vegas. It's going to be awesome. Can't wait to show everyone and share with you all. We are here in Las Vegas, Nevada. We have made it. Trinity did amazing. Such a good trip. And now we get to enjoy a few days here uh, while we are here for a wedding. Today we are on our way to the Grand Canyon. But the car just being parked in the garage overnight is absolutely filthy. So there is a lot of dust out here in the desert and it is clear an indication on the car. It's very windy. So that's what has brought us all of this dirt. Like yesterday I closed the front and now you can see my handprint right where I pushed on the Tesla emblem. And check out that windshield. Oh gosh, look at all that sand dirt all along the whole windshield. It's pretty gross. You can see everyone's fingerprints. You know where people touch the car. It's kind of gross. So looks like we'll have to get another car wash. Yep, so we'll be getting another car wash some point, but headed over to the Grand Canyon. Can't wait to show you those views. park on the far side and then use the one and then use the other so it's kind of like there would be spaces every other here on each side for um, other people to park I guess but it's kind of confusing you have to really make sure that your vehicle of course is on the right side. Today we learned that not all pilot stops are the same sadly there was no breakfast pizza here. Um, we're breakfast burritos. We're burritos it was pretty desolate on the breakfast front um, so we did get some subway, got fueled up, got charged up, and this charge was $22.96. Um, and then not too bad for our little excursion today, and we are headed now to the Grand Canyon. West. Woo! creation this is absolutely gorgeous and so because it's so cold I had to buy this hoodie that I have on here because it left my actual winter coat in the hotel because I figured it's Arizona it's got to be warm not today all right so we are finally leaving the Grand Canyon West um, 
and we got some food, like literally last minute, got these fresh wallapai tacos, which if you don't know what it is, is basically, and I hope I don't offend anyone, but it just looks like a doughboy and then all the taco toppings on top. And what a doughboy is, for those that don't know what a doughboy is, because I didn't know what that was until I met him 10 years ago, which is a funnel cake, but without the tubing, it's just like a flat piece of dough. Yeah. With some, you know, confectioner sugar on top, like a funnel cake. It's a funnel cake, but flat. It's weird. Yeah, anyway, so we got to so enjoy that. that. We but checked like out. that, with all the taco toppings, it was so unexpected, and it was massive. They were huge. Like taco, when you hear the word taco, it's a little hand taco, you know? You roll it up, or you have a hard shell. No, these were massive plate size with loaded with stuff on top. Yeah, and so I actually ordered two, which was a big mistake <laughs> because it was way more food than Ooh, any much. three of us could eat. So, but yeah, yeah. we're leaving now. Morgan, uh, spin the camera and just see that it has been cold for a point of reference. When we got to the top of the Grand Canyon here, we were at roughly about, I think, 63? 63. 63. And as you can see, we're leaving now at 57. So the cold weather did do a number on our range. I don't think we'll have any issues, but if we do, we'll definitely be sure to update. Well, part of the road trip, we've been doing the license plate game, which I am a huge fan of. I love searching for those license plates out there. Um, but since I knew it was going to be like a 5,000 plus mile road trip, I printed out two license plate games. So we're about to switch up the board um, to have a clean slate again. So the last game we ended up with missing three states. They were Rhode Island, Hawaii, and Alaska. Vegas from the Grand Canyon and Grand Canyon West that is and we went to the truck stop because we had to go potty of course and then I got a my mother-in-law and I got hot chocolates you said this was the best hot chocolate in the it's, world no I did not say in the world I oh. said it's really good oh, okay. for being a truck stop because my coffee the other day was a letdown if you remember from pilot I'm very yes. sorry but this place had good hot chocolate so that was reassuring um but we also heard through the grapevine in there that around us everywhere it's snowing yep it was snowing at the grand canyon but that's higher elevation colder mountaintop type thing but this i'm a little nervous we have yet to see snow on our roads as we're heading back to grand uh back to las vegas but we shall see what's in store Yep, so we're in Henderson charging up before we head back to the Tropicana for a fun evening. Woohoo! But uh, <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. freezing, so we're not out walking around like we normally would be. We're sitting in the car with a blanket. Yes. Because it's, <laughs> it's cold. So cold. <laughs> Super cool. We are approaching the all new electric Rivian based Amazon Prime delivery van. Yep, you heard it. This is an all-electric Amazon delivery van provided to Amazon directly from Rivian. This is incredible. Fremont Street, hope you enjoy the footage of that. We are here to Hoover Dam, and it is an absolute spectacle. It is incredible. Just take a look. 
150 tons. And I don't know if you know this, but on one side of the dam is Nevada, and the other side of the dam is Arizona. So at one point, we can stand in two time zones. <laughs> so we finished up at the Hoover Dam. What an amazing thing that was to see in real life and in person, and just the absolute astonishment and the engineering that they put into that thing. The tour guide continued to say the whole time, that it's 70% overbuilt. So they did an amazing job constructing that and they should never have a single like catastrophic issue. It can uh, withstand an 8.6 magnitude earthquake. So absolutely incredible. We're over back here in uh, Henderson, charging up before we head back into Vegas and we're gonna stop and run a few errands and then it's gonna be time wedding to get time. ready for the wedding. <laughs> All right, so we just finished that charge in Henderson. And if we didn't mention it yesterday, Henderson's charge was $10.75. And today it was $8.75. So we're leaving Henderson, headed back into Las Vegas. The main event. The moment you've all been waiting for. <laughs> the wedding! The wedding has arrived. I have no more peach fuzz or fuzz or whatever we're gonna call it. It's gone because I gotta be looking good, you know, for the wedding. Here we go. Woo! Congrats to the Mr. and Mrs. We are so thrilled for them and we are having a, such a good time at this wedding. You, as you can hear behind us, it is a non-stop party in there. We had to come outside and cool off because we are sweating a storm in there, but we're having a blast. It's so much fun. Absolutely gorgeous here in Las Vegas. I'm actually really sad that we have to leave tomorrow morning, but cannot wait to see Little Willow Grove and Charlie and Callie. Baby, what do you think? It's, yeah, pretty awesome. I never thought a destination wedding would be this fun, but it sure is. So can't wait to see who else gets married in the future and where we go. Yeah, we'll <laughs> share it with you all. So we just got back from the wedding. We had an absolute blast. It was so much fun. And we absolutely loved it here in Vegas. We will definitely be back. Vegas treated us very well. So it was, like I said, it was an absolute blast. We couldn't have had a better time. And we saw so much. And we did so much. Vegas, baby. Good night. <laughs>